Hi, this is Ali Shanmo, and in this video we are going to review Volcara Dimension 8 and Dimension 6 radios. Basically, I will just pick one of these radios. Uh, Dimension 8 is 8 channel radio, Dimension 6 is a 6 channel radio, and you can see the size actually. Dimension 6 is a little smaller in size, you can see, and it comes with mini helicopters. So mostly Volcara is going to ship this with their mini 3D helicopters, which is a very, very good idea to keep the things as smaller. And I hope the prices will be cheaper as well. And uh, Volcara uh, Dimension 8 is a full-size big radio, and of course Dimension 12 is as well. So basically, I believe that the software that is running inside is pretty much the same. So I'm going to uh, review uh, Dimension 8 now and we will talk about the features. The coolest feature that I had was that uh, seven point throttle and pitch curve for the helicopters. Awesome. Uh, similarly, it's on Dimension 6 as well. So let's pick up the Volcara Dimension 8 and we will talk about it and if we have time, we'll talk about Dimension 6 as well. I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of this radio, of course, and uh, first we will talk about cons, the bad things about this radio. So basically cons or bad things about this video, I'm going to put it in a very constructive way for Volcara, that is let's say what Volcara should improve in this radio. Number one, the backlit LCD, it's really really difficult to see outdoors, so basically Volcara should actually uh, do something about the backlit LCD so people can actually see and program the radio when they are outside. So I'm sure Volcara is working on it and um, actually speaking. Uh, Dimension 6 radio has better, you can see it's brighter, the resolution. At the moment both radios have very high uh, set resolution to really highest on their LCDs and you can see that Dimension 6 has a brighter LCD and I was using it outside for programming and uh, by putting hand up or putting it inside the car I can program it. So Volcara Dimension 8 need a little bit more brighter LCD. Okay. Second thing, when you turn on the radio and turn off the radio, they have like saving the functions and there are some very cheap kind of synthesized beeps. I think we should get rid of those beeps. So Volcara should actually get rid of those beeps. Uh, third thing, there are no reviews about these radios online and also it's not a good idea for Volcara to actually push their radios together with their helicopters. For instance, V120D06 or V100D08, which is a very uh, nice helicopter for 3D, Indo 3D, and if you actually see the helicopter price, it's very, very good price, but when you shove in a Dimension 8 big radio, the price just shoots really, really high and nobody wants to buy it. The second thing is, if Volcara is uh, keeping the price of Dimension 6 radio lower and shoeing this radio in with the combos of their helicopters, Copters might be possible the price is a little lower. Now, the other thing is if Volcara kept their helicopters um, like bind and fly with other radios, people will just buy it simply. But the thing is if you shoe in your own radio with one helicopter, nobody wants to buy another radio probably if they already have a radio. Another thing is if you have a Volcara radio, Volcara radio talk with Volcara receivers only or Volcara helicopters only. There is no way you can use Volcara uh, helicopters with built-in stabilization system with other radios. You have to use Volcara radios only. So I think Volcara should look at this point and improve that and make their helicopter universal or uh, radio independent and people can use any radio to actually uh, fly those helicopters. But that is another thing. But the thing is if you have a Volcara radio like Dimension 8 or Dimension 6 and you have the Volcara Dimension compatible receivers, you can actually put those receivers in anything and fly those helicopters or those airplanes using these radio. For instance, I have just configured my P-51 Mustang, put a FY-30A system in it, and I'm going to test it. So I am using Dimension 8 radio to fly this airplane today. So yeah, if you have a receiver, you can easily put this receiver in any helicopter on any airplane and use Volcara Dimension radios to actually fly them. Okay, now let's talk about the good things. One more thing that I should actually describe is that when it comes to Dimension 6 radio, I have no idea why Volcara has to make it really small. I mean, I am, I'm a small guy, I have a small hand, so I feel very, very good holding this radio and actually using this radio. But what if about, but what about big guys, people with big hands, right? Uh, not everybody is small as I am. So if people have like, they are tall guys, big guys, they have big hands, they will actually feel this radio is really, really tiny and might be possible they feel difficulty using this tiny or small radio. The radio has cool features, of course, just like Dimension 8 and like you can see the battery and stuff actually fits nicely 
uh, inside also uses full battery so it's just like becomes a stick pack you you just put it in you put it in connect the connector and close the lid so basically uh, quality wise uh, these coarse soft plastic surfaces here for nice and handy grip here the looks of the radio actually everything is good uh, uh, the stylus is given here okay on this six channel radio actually everything is looking really really good but once again I would say if you have really big hands or you're a big guy or big person you will have difficulty holding this radio I think Volker I should pay attention to this thing as well and make Dimension 6 bigger standard size radio just like Dimension 8 The looks the feels of these radios okay these are simply great all right if I put the camera a little farther you can see the back there's a plastic uh, there's a plastic with a coarse uh, surface and it, it actually helps with a very good grip the radio feels very very good in your hands the sticks have very good feel soft and nice they have very good feels and during control they actually work very very well for the helicopters and for airplanes it has been given your stylus it has a USB out it has a DSC out and charging port etc etc the bag and actually speaking the quality looks really really good then you have lots of switches okay let me put the camera down then you have lots of switches for example your rudder dual rate here okay then you have an elevator dual rate, then you have a gear switch, then you have like hover trims for helicopters, okay, and hover throttle for helicopters, then you have a mix switch, this is a three position switch, and you have an aileron dual rate, and you have the flight mode three position switch here. So you have uh, enough switches for you. And the other good point, of course, is that uh, Volkira has given you all these buttons for quick and easy programming, but what makes it very very easy to program is the stylus and touch screen LCD so stylus is right here you can take it out and after using the stylus of course it becomes really really easy to program something let me zoom in on the LCD okay here we are so using a stylus actually everything is very very easy actually you can also use your fingers uh, but then it becomes a little difficult to actually press some areas and it takes a little bit more pressing to actually do something so I would recommend using a stylus using a stylus is actually really really very easy to program this radio now let us talk about the menus in this radio